Hello, what's going on? DVD community. Well, we're basically a family. We've all been playing this game for about seven years, most of us. And if you're new to the community, welcome, welcome. And I would like to welcome you to my channel. I am the monster boy, that monster boy. <laughs> Before we get started, I would like to say, hey, can you hit that like, share, and subscribe button? Either or, not necessarily in that order. That would be very much appreciative of you guys. Helps out the channel, gets out there to spread. Obviously, we need to grow a little bit. Our numbers are down. We need to start building. Um, well, I need to start building. This is all for me. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, anyway. Anyway. Um... So there's things that in a DVD community or well, on the game that, you know, personally I would like to see and hopefully others would share, you know, um, my same, you know, visual outlook. And hopefully these are things that you want to see also. So starting off with Halloween, now at least from my understanding, Behavior only has the rights to the first Halloween film. Which is totally fine because there are a multitude, plethora of good cosmetics and skins that could come from that, um, you know, just from that one title, that one license, that one movie. How about, you know, since Laurie has been isolated during the newer movies, how about we give her some friends? These are also victims of Michael Myers that he chased through the first movie. You have Linda, you have Annie, and of course, Lori. I mean, she already has like the coming from school, her, her outfit that she has when she was, um, you know, at school and stuff. And she has her original base cosmetic, which is the blue denim and the blue blouse. So why not add these two other friends for Lori to, you know, join up and take down Michael Myers or be hooked by Michael Myers as they were in the movie. And I would love to see, see this not just because I'm a fan of Halloween, which I am, I'm a Halloween fan, just a horror fan in general. This would bring a new, you know, abundance to the Halloween chapter itself. Also, they could do different cosmetics for those characters also in the same sentence. You know, like a Silent Hill thing. They could, you know, attach these to Lori, obviously. Be Link cosmetics or whatever, you know, and come in as different individual characters. Definitely, I don't know if it's possible, but can we have Annie in her, like, the, the, um, the white button-up shirt? That would be awesome, too. I understand like licensing and negotiating probably isn't the easiest part of behavior's job, you know, but most of these companies that they deal with, they have to understand that because of Dead by Daylight, this revitalized most horror genres, like most horror movies was rebirthed and brought back from the dead because of Dead by Daylight. Silent Hill is like the biggest example. I started playing Silent Hill back in 2019. I started, I picked up the game. Well, I started playing on PlayStation Now. That's where it started at. And, you know, man, I mean, like a year later, you know, behavior that they are with Silent Hill chapter. And not only did it come back, it brought it back in a major way. There's been a release of games and everything, you know, just coming out, you know, all type of movie. Oh my God. And how can not we say that Dead by Daylight has been the driving force behind the revitalization of these horror characters, you know? Even Halloween itself was a dead franchise. Though people remembered it, but it wasn't in the public eye as much as now. You know what I mean? So, I mean, if anything, those companies, they should be willing and more willing to negotiate better deals for behavior because of these things. And behavior probably has to let them know themselves. But then again, 
I don't know how that stuff works. Now, obviously, this is the most easiest and just like right off the head thing that I would have thought have would have been done possibly over this this entire period is have Sam Loomis as a cosmetic. You know, and, I mean, come on. This is Michael Myers, you know, doctor, his rival, the man who knows exactly what Michael was. You know, I would thought that would be a given. I could be talking out my ass, but, you know, it's like one of those streakless asses, you know, like there isn't much, you know, crap behind it. You know, it's like a, a fresh baby ass, you know, like a fresh white with baby wipe ass, baby, a baby ass that's been wiped with baby wipes. You know what I mean? The thing that needs to happen is how about Ghost Bob? Uh, Bob Ghost? Ghost Bob? Yeah. Ghost Bob Michael Myers would be awesome. Plain and simple. Well, you know, this is one of the things that the community has wanted for so long that plays DVD. And I've heard that um, the licenses don't want to cover Michael Myers' face because he would be unrecognizable. But anybody who is a Halloween fan and who's done research into like, you know, horror in general has come across this photograph. And people seeing this run around on a video game is gonna wanna know, who is that? Why is he wearing that? Who is this character? Potentially creating even more fans for a Halloween series. Okay, well, I'm gonna shake up the meta with this one a little bit, you know? And I know people have suggested that, you know, the Halloween ends version of my Michael Myers come in as a killer, you know, as a potential skin. But how about something different? How about they add Corey Cunningham as a legendary skin? This is like, one of my favorite scenes from the movie, I don't know, it's just brutal. And it's, it's downright hor uh, horrific, scary, creepy, all of that above. And I think he'd be a pretty good, you know, addition to the game. Okay, so it's time to keep beating a dead horse. And I do mean to keep beating it. So another thing I think people would love to see, obviously, Robert Englund's Freddy may be one of the most iconic horror villains to be created, the easily most recognizable and generally just terrifying and demented. He also showed, you know, that horror villains don't necessarily have to not have a voice. They could have fun with what they're doing. So, and those fans still exist that's in the Dead by Daylight community. They would love to have them some Robert Ingram Freddy, you know. And I think he'll be a lot more scary than just the uh, Freddy that we have in general. I don't know, something about his facial structure itself is just horrific. And yes, please have a Nancy Thomas skin accompanying this other skin. That would be uh, like the icing on the cake. If not a Nancy Holbrook skin. I know Quentin gets lonely. Okay, moving on. And was, it's all been on our mind. We've all wanted it. We all need it. How about a Candyman chapter? Like, when is this ever going to happen? I'm not sure. It might be in license in hell like so many others. But, man... How awesome would it be? And scary, probably. I don't know, depending on how behavior makes it. Man, to have the original 1994 Candyman running around the game would be a dream come true. You know, honestly. Well, I guess. For so many. For so many. I do like the Candyman movies, which I think, and honestly, in all opinion, Despite what anybody else thinks, I think it's one of the greatest horror movies to exist and one of the best titular villains to exist. So yes, please give us Candyman, Helen Lau as a killer, all of the above that you can do. Make Cabrini green, the map, that would be cool too. You know, just make this chapter awesome. 
Um, this is just like a retouch up for some Silent Hill things because I'm an uber ultra fan of Silent Hill. There was nothing you can tell me about Silent Hill. I just love it so much. Ah. Okay, I'm going to stop doing that. Anyway, um, you know, I would love to see this happen. Okay, Robert, I, I like the recolored skins of the Robert the Rabbit. That's fine. I know some people probably want to be a yellow, blue, and green bunny, which exists in this one. But how about they do something, because I'm all about individualism. So how about they bring in these three other, you know, plushy skins for the Legion characters? Now, they don't necessarily have to reskin the legion characters with these but hey it preferably but from what i'm seeing is they have their own individual weapons so i think you know the huey the horse could be a death slinger skin or joey skin i mean it kind of fits you know he has the shotgun and the horses and the cowboys and whatnot i guess the kitty skin could be uh what's her name um skull merchant skin or Huntress. When it comes to Cheryl, they can add some more shirts from the unlockables after beating the game and stuff. And there are like exclusive shirts that you really can't get even in the HD collection that's from the PS2 era. So it'd be nice to see those skins come in the game and be playable for everyone. Um, so I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. So tell me what you think. Do you like these ideas or nay, yay? Have a great day or a great night, wherever you are. Um, thank you for watching the video. So please like, sub, and share. Thank you. See you to the next one.